Right now, a Cincinnati City Council member is preparing a motion asking city administrators to produce a report on traffic cameras downtown. And this all comes after we introduce you to two mothers here who say cameras failed their sons and could fail you as well. Let's go straight out to WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco, who is downtown right now. Courtney, we are actually talking about some hit and run cases here. Yes, cases where the driver hits someone and takes off. And you might expect the city cameras you see out here to help you in 2021. But in these cases, they did not. And the mother tells me, hold those in power accountable. And we're talking about a really heavy topic here. Part of that includes photos of injuries. The family I spoke to today wanted me to share some of the reality of that with you. Look up next time you're walking downtown. Notice cameras, your tax dollars pay for that. Some say it can be a potential layer of evidence, but will it be reliable if you need it? My question is why, why, why do you have these cameras? What can you identify? Mary Keller's son Parker's not ready to talk about it publicly, but he was walking near the casino July 5th when his mother says this car hit him and drove off, leaving him in the street with multiple face and leg lacerations, a broken jaw, teeth, broken scapula, doctor appointments daily or weekly. As time sets in, then you have that emotional trauma. Um, not only for my son, but all of us, you know, the thinking the what ifs and um, just going going back to some dark places. She says this is the video snapshot police have of the car. They can't zero in on the make a model or the license. Then there's Michael Landrum's case. A city camera was not working September 27th when a car hit him and drove off. He's still in the hospital. We were with his mother yesterday taking the search into her own hands. I run a red light. I asked Cincinnati police this morning the success rate of city cameras in solving hit and runs. Officers are gathering data but say they rely heavily on nearby business footage. See the quality in this case that left a pregnant woman hurt? It was not in the position of a typical traffic camera that would capture a plate. But did catch a glimpse of the driver's face. The library gave us video in the West End hit and run case and managers say police have been scrubbing through the footage, pointing out specific vehicles that might help the case. For instance, a city bus. Officers eventually pinpointed this car. City Council member and mayoral hopeful David Mann told me today he's putting finishing touches on a motion that would lead administrators to reveal which cameras are broken. I contacted the city manager to ask cost of a system update. The Kellers say bringing this to light is a step in the right direction. It would be helpful for the next person. You may be thinking in Keller's case, it was near a casino and casinos have quality cameras, but his mother tells me that they were more focused on construction out here. Reporting live in downtown Cincinnati, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.